Hi there, I'm Amy from crazybeautiful.com and I have my friend Betsy here with me today. Hi. Hi Betsy. Hi. <laughs> she uh, runs a Facebook page and a company. Um, it's called Heavens to Betsy, so we're going to just kind of chat. It's going to be a little informal today, uh, but she's also going to bring us a tutorial on doing hand lettering and um, chalkboard stuff. So we have a sample here. Oh, get it in the camera. So, <laughs> so cute. Something kind of fun. <laughs> yep. So um, Betsy's just going to talk a little bit about um, what she does and her chalkboard um, you do all chalkboards, is that right? Yeah, um, mostly, well, I wasn't always just chalkboards, but I did some cafe menus and... Ooh, I love that. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, so mainly chalkboards, because that's so popular right now, so for weddings and just quotes and whatever, so it's fun. I love doing it. Cool. <laughs> well, I have just asked her to come on to my YouTube channel and my blog this week to do some um, hand lettering tutorials and we're going to do a chalkboard for you today on um, YouTube and also we're going to do some envelopes and show you how you can kind of like, I don't know, decorate your envelopes and just use a couple hand lettering tips and tricks uh, as we go. So I thought it would be good to bring someone on who actually does this <laughs> um, and we've had some fun this morning getting ready for... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's start real quick by saying uh, we have a chalkboard here that's blank. This is going to be the one that she's going to be doing in our tutorial. You use chalkboard paint and that totally surprised me because I've tried chalkboard paint and have not gotten like a great result. <laughs> but um, you give me like just a couple sentence idea sure. of how you... Um, how you start with this because I know you can buy the little mini chalkboards mm -hmm. um, at like craft stores and stuff. Do you ever use those? Do you always sometimes? Make um, sometimes I I uh, will do that when I want a quick um, to make something more quickly. But um, I usually get material in big amounts and then cut them down. Um, something that has a smooth surface, so it could be scrap wood or you know something thin, just browse around at the hardware store. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, we love DIY hardware store projects. Yes. So. It, it was a learning process for me, but um, I did try and use regular black paint because I thought I could maybe save some money that right. way um, or whatever, but um, the chalkboard paint just somehow just gives that more authentic chalkboard look mm -hmm. and it works. I usually only use two coats and sometimes I'll even um, seal the paint before I write on it just because the chalk marker that I use which I'll tell you about a little bit <laughs> um, just goes on smoother uh, but it still leaves the authentic look of the chalkboard itself so yeah Amy was surprised that I actually hand painted these so that's that was a compliment to me because yeah they look they definitely <laughs> look like you just bought them um, but if you're not interested in going the DIY route you can purchase just a regular chalkboard yep tell us a little bit about the markers you use real quick before we get started sure um again this is something I learned with because there's lots of chalk mark chalk markers out there but um, this is what I use. Um, it's just called Bistro Chalk Marker, um, which cool. I kind of like that name. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. Bistro is fun. We like bistros. We like bistros. <laughs> um, and we will add that in the show notes so you know where to find them. So you've tried a couple different brands. You use different yeah. colors. I see the white. Yes. I've um, got, um, today I have some red and green just because we're going to do some something fun for Christmas. But um, they make them in all different colors. Um, I have like fluorescent colors at home, pink and blue and green and purple. But all in that same brand. Same brand. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's find out where to find you. Okay. Um, it's Heavens to Betsy is actually the fun the phrase, uh -huh. but I sort of play it on the word because I'm, well, play it on the phrase, I guess I should uh -huh. say, because my name, name is, is Betsy. Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of Heavens to Betsy, it's Heavens from Betsy okay. since it's, a piece of art that you get from me so okay. and that's on Facebook um, I primarily run my business from Facebook so it's just 
find me on Facebook, Kevin's from Betsy. Okay. So. All right. And we're going to make one of these quotes from the movie Elf today. So that will be exciting. Give me like a little idea of how you lay out what you want to say. Like, okay. I know you do customs with people's names. I'm mm -hmm. excited. I'm going to get one Yay. done. <laughs> and we will put that on as a tutorial as well. Um, well, for this one, for example, I did, this was just sort of, I, I like the movie Elf, and oh, know, this is like do. one of my favorite quotes from it. And I have seen other people do quotes, but I kind of wanted to come out, come up with my own layout. Uh, singing loud, because music is something that I love, so I just wanted to make sure that that stood out. Um, and I really just started, I like to have some movement to the chalkboard, so instead of writing everything straight, I wanted to have some kind of curve in there too. So I actually um, started with the banner, and then I figured out what I could fit around that, because that was sort of somewhat in the center. So um, I just started there. Some of the smaller words you can see, I just um, you know figured out what I wanted to make smaller. Like they sort of fit in the gap. Yeah. You were describing how this fits in sort of the umbrella of the singing loud. Right, right. So, and, and you know, the best way really stands out, singing loud. Um, and then once I get all the words down, I just you know, if I do want to add some color in there, polka dots do so much for <laughs> filling <laughs> in touch. <laughs> filling yes. in touch. So, and just because it was weird. kind of fun from Elf, I just did some little whimsical little swirlies and stuff. So really just finding the, the words that you want to stand out, um, in a sense, cool. just kind of doodling, yeah. to me at least. Yeah, <laughs> well fun. definitely doodling kind of opens that creative window. Mm -hmm. So. But hopefully it'll give you some ideas on if you want to try and make your own. Great. And if you don't want to try to make your own, we <laughs> are going to have a coupon code for you that you can order custom work or work that Betsy already has completed for Christmas or just um, year round. Um, so we're going to get situated and show you how to recreate this on your own.